Friends, this is Dan Tartaglione, D Tartag1, coming to you live as we stream the first game of the OCS Championship. Tonight it's going to be Bastion Winklehouse versus Ryan Searson. So let me just bring up Gemp. Okay, just letting them know that everything's good. Looks like. Uh, Bastion woke up a little bit early, and he's ready to go. Ryan just watched, walked his dog, so we're just waiting for them to start. So as soon as they start, we're going to go live with the action. Uh, looks like Bastion decided to go with light side first. Um, knowing Bastion, I want to say I'm putting him on OA. That seems to be the deck that he his uh, deck of choice lately with him. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I don't know what Ryan's going to be playing for Dark. Okay, so it looks like Ryan decided to go with Court. Uh, it looks like he anticipated Bastion playing OA and decided to go with something that's a, a little bit stronger. And Bastion's actually going to be playing Diplo tonight. Okay, so I'm not really, I, I myself am not really familiar with this matchup. But it's going to be interesting to see uh, how they play it. And Bastion decided to go with R2, D2, and C3PO. Lately, I see a lot of players playing R2 Virtual because he adds a light side icon. That way, people can transport the Tantive over to Raleteer, make it a battleground. But right, uh, again, Bastion's just going with the normal R2 and C3PO. We have Ryan starting the typical effects that you would see with Court. We have Battle Order and First Strike, Jabba's Haven, and wipe them out all of us, or wipe them out all of them. Uh, let's them activate a force on the opponent's turn, and retrieve Starship or Alien back into hand, and let's them battle for free. While wow. Bastion is starting Strike Planning so he can get Mon Mothma, a general out of his deck really early. Uh, this one is interesting. You've got a lot of guts coming here. So it makes his unique Rebels ability 3 are power 4 for plus 1, power 4 plus plus 2 if they're a Cloud Seed or Jabba's Palace site. While Han is at a battleground of Hunt, retrieves no force from Sky Navilli. So this is a really good deck to play against Court. So it looks like to me that we have a little bit of a mind games going where Ryan thought Bastion was going to be playing away. So, Bastion might have said, okay, if Ryan's going to be playing in court, I'm going to play something that I feel is strong against court. And then his third effect is good old Walkling. Uh, to start off, Ryan got his grabber out while Bastion used Might of the Republic to take Bail Organa into his hand. Bail Organa is really good on the Tantive. Uh, while on a Corvette, you add one to Battle Destiny, and it may not be targeted by weapons. And then the other good thing is, while the stolen data tapes are on table, your four strains out of Battlegrounds with Alderanians of ability less than four are plus one. So, Leia, Tycho, Bale, um, uh, Antilles, a lot of good Alderanians in this deck. So, we're going to see a lot of... That, that game text might come into play. So it looks like Ryan was able to get out the Death Star 2 docking bay from the objective, and he had the course on docking bay in his opening hand. Okay. Now Ryan's using the palace site to the early audience chamber. I find it interesting that Ryan decided to go this setup. Normally, uh, you can see the court player playing the dungeon on the outside, so that way they have to walk through the dungeon and then to the audience chamber. Um, I wonder if Ryan is anticipating going out of the audience chamber. So he gets out Java as well as Scum and Villainy. See how long that's going to last in this game. Sorry about that. Looks like we have three people watching us tonight. We have Worfs, at least, 
and I'm not recognizing the two other names. But so besides Jabba, we have the new card Lady Proxima from set eleven. Lost if an exterior site. She'll she'll be she won't be moving from the audience chamber to the outside, but she she might go on the inside. While with two other aliens as one destiny, during control phase may reveal the top three cards of your reserve deck and take one alien to hand if possible, and then you shuffle it. That's really good card advantage that a lot of court decks don't have. So that's really helpful card and get in any matchup with court. And then so sort of Okay, it doesn't oh, yeah. So at the end of Ryan's turn we have Bastion using Stripe Planning, he gets General Sola and Mon Mothma out. And Ryan just activates from wipe them out. So Now we have Bastion setting up with uh, some Diplo things, possibly to check his reserve deck, making sure that Chandrill is in there so he can possibly move the Tantive over. Sorry about that, just had a little bit of technical difficulties with my audio. Okay. So, while I was doing that, Bastion gets out the Moisture Farm. And he gets Alderaan from hand, Chandrilla from hand. So that's pretty good. I mean, it's good and bad for Bastion because he he gets out the, the activation and the locations early, but the, all those cards were pullable. And Moth Mothma comes down, as well as Ray. Okay, so Ray provides the pilot, and he's using her once per game to grab a card from his use pile. And he drew from the bottom of his deck. And here comes Antilles down as a pilot. So Antilles, while on the Tantive, adds two to the power of any rebel capital ship. Deploys minus one. So it deploys for one on the Tantive. And while aboard the Tantive, it's moved to lat damage and attrition less than five. So... And then he loses a card to Court, and it looks like he lost from hand. He lost Menace Fades, a card that I don't see coming into play during this matchup. And he moves over to Chandrilla. So he didn't play Bay also. Ryan is able to, again, use Lady Proxima, and he takes out Dosh Pure from the, the three cards that he looks at. Okay. 
and he uses the new card Twilight Advisor. Twilight Advisor allows you to deploy the passenger deck if the audience chamber is on table or an alien leader or Twilight to the audience chamber. So he decides to go out and get the passenger deck, which is a 2 0 site, and now he's using the objective. One thing about the objective is there's if there is no docking base, he's going to be forced to deploy a, sh a, sh a starship, which he does, uh, Allison the Hinthra. So using that game sex, he's going to go get a alien smuggler. Okay. And he gets Wolf. So And Wolf says that your opponent... Battle destiny, battle and weapon de draw destinies are minus one. So, and the other thing, good thing about the Hinthra is now he's adding, at a, because it's the opponent's system, he's adding another icon. So, next turn, unless Bastion does something, he's going to be draining for three. And Ryan gets out Erica. And this is the non, this is the virtual one where if Luke is not present at a battleground, if she's present and Luke is not, you get to retrieve a force. So he's got some retrieval and he's doing some damage right now. So it's definitely putting a nice little clock on Bastion. And we currently have 14 people watching the stand up late. Well, actually 12 people watching. And again, if you're looking to continue viewing a lot of this great material that we have, the streams, uh, Chris Gogolin's show on Mondays, uh, Jerry and my show on Wednesdays, uh, just remember to click the support, or click the like, the follow button, the subscribe button on Twitch, so Bastion getting out, oh this is interesting, so he got out the Jabba's Palace, the Tatooine Jabba's Palace site, so if it says, which says, if you occupy with an alien, Bushota cannot be cancelled, but the important part is, when deployed, lose one force for each of your Jabba's Palace sites that you do not occupy. So he makes Ryan lose a force because he just deployed it. And Ryan loses Django Fett off the top of his reserve deck. I'm anticipating Bastion playing the Bale, so he can start doing damage as well. Uh, another option is we might see Bastion throw down a starship, move R2 and C3P over to Alderaan, and move the, the Tantive over, try and set up for the flip this turn. But looks like Bastion's in the tank right now. Okay. And Bastion coming down with the profundity. Oof. Ryan has the barrier. Yeah, barrier is definitely one of those cards we see a lot in court because they want to keep the audience chamber well fortified and they don't like a lot of mains coming down with their lightsabers and initiating battle because in court you don't see a lot of high defense value guys who are able to survive lightsabers and blasters and other ways of getting rid of your aliens. 
Okay, Bastion's grabbing that. Okay, and here comes the bail. And not sure if anybody follow uh, did if anybody did watch the show this morning or this afternoon. Uh, we did the over or the uh, swing and a miss. It's a hit instead of we changed it from boring conversation anyways to swing and a miss. Uh, and we also had uh, Chris Kelly and Steve Maroney on today as well. Okay, so here's General Solo now to help with the, again, you've got a lot of gusts coming, coming from here. So now if Ryan does initiate battles, he will not be retrieving from Scum until General Solo is lost from the table. And the other thing is now Bastion's not losing any force to the objective. And he just shuttles Solo up onto the profundity. Interesting he moves interesting move of the tant of over. Uh, I think this is because one he wants to block the drain and as well as if he does have to lose he can just lose R2 and 3PO to the Dune C with their forfeit being seven. So that will mitigate seven damage. Okay, now I want does it say that solo has to be okay? So he plays the aim high. I wonder if he thinks that. I know, I know this is Bastion, but he might think that solo doesn't have to be at a system. But I believe you've got a lot of guts coming here. Works at his system as well. It just says he has to be at a battleground. Okay, so here comes Lady Proxima. And Ryan's able to find Dr. Afra. And he paint he pings Bastion for one, which Bastion leaves the spiral. And that's why Bastion got the aim high. Eric is on the table. So now Bastion, or Ryan has to pay one to retrieve the Django that he lost last turn. Sorry about that, I'm dual screening. And I'm trying to bring up my Streamlabs again. Okay. And Ryan uses his objective. And he was able to confirm that he has a ship in his deck by using now hottest game text. So he goes out and gets the Java Space Cruiser, which is another more recent card. Uh, you're able to... One alien pilot, six passengers, permanent... Pilot provides ability of two. When deployed, you may deploy an alien leader from on board for free, immune to attrition less than five. And he gets out Balatik. Balatik says that while with Han, he can't add destiny draws or play interrupt from his lost pile. And then while at opponent's battleground, may opponent may not cancel or reduce foreign strains here. So Bastion can't reduce, modify four strains at Chandrilla. And but the first part of his game text is fitting solo isn't going to come into play because Bastion's playing general solo.
Again, this is the matchup, the first game between Bastion Winklehouse, our world champion of 2019, versus Ryan Searson. And Ryan's just drawing up Ryan. Currently has a card of 15, or hand of 15 cards. But definitely puts him in the range of a Grimtosh. Uh no, uh, this is the this is the the first game of this year's OCS. No, uh, no other games from the first round have been played. Yeah, Bastion woke up apparently early to get this going, and Bastion comes down with Jin to the audience chamber to block the drain of one from there. Question now is will we see Bash and try and go for a flip here? Bastion taking his time, thinking about this turn very carefully. Okay, and here comes Young Skywalker. Now, Young Skywalker is going to be good because with because Bash or because Ryan's not playing any Dark Jedi. Looks like as long as Young Skywalker's on the table for Bastion, he's going to be able to retrieve the Force. And he just shuttles him up to the Profundity. And it looks like to me Bastion's being extremely cautious right now. He's working around the ping from the objective, as well as making sure he doesn't have anybody on the ground to get beat down. And he's just moving over in front of the Space Cruiser and Ellis and Hinthra because I know that at Chandrilla, if you control with two Star Destroyers, your Force Strain is plus one. If you control with no capital Star Shifts, it's Force Strain minus one. So Ryan's still, if Bastion didn't do anything, he still would have been able to drain at Chandrilla for three because Space Cruiser still ca is a capital. And now Bastion's just shuttling his guys around, figuring out how he wants to do his setup for the, the two different starships. And the nice thing is he can still move the Tantive off and fly it to Alderaan, but I doubt we'll see that. And he's just drawing up. So both players with hands, well, Ryan's borderline, well, Ryan is in Grimtosh range while... Bastion is at 11. That's one of the nice things about Gemp. You don't have to worry about holding the cards in front of you and having a nice big hand. Here, you can just, it's all on the computer, which, again, from earlier with uh, Steve Baroni, who says he's excited to play on Gemp because it mitigates the human error and the issues that a lot of people, like, that issue of human error and the chance of making a screw up, such as shuffling a card that you take from uh, Rescue in the Clouds into uh, that you took from Rescue in the Clouds in your hand, putting it on the table and shuffling it back in the deck. Okay, and 
Ryan just retrieved all the cards from his lost pile. So, getting out that early Erica really helped out Ryan. But again, we haven't seen any real damage outside of the one or two forced trades. Excuse me, or the uh, the court damage. Actually, I only believe it was the one force strain. For uh, for each player, sorry. Okay, Ryan's getting out the stinger. It's not the virtual stinger, so that does have a permanent pilot. But he does have the Guri in his hand. Guri deploys for free while Guri piloting as one battle design immune to attrition less than five. But the nice thing about Guri is as long as Vader is not present, the opponent cannot draw more than one destiny. That works in space, that works on ground. She's an amazing character. Especially against a deck where we could see Bastion using Bail Organa, for example, or a possibly a little rebel leadership or something we can see with extra destiny so again this is very much telling me that ryan clearly built a deck to play against bastion figuring that bastion was going to be playing away and it's it's smart he just won worlds with it so why would you not put him on away And here comes Afra down to the Jabba's Palace site. The light side, Jabba's Palace site. As long as, and with Jota Cast. So, being that Ryan's playing Jota Cast, that tells me, uh, gives me a little bit of a red flag in my mind that you could possibly see a hidden weapons. So, he's reinforcing on the ground and making sure he can, one, he has the, fort, he has the fortified audience chamber. He has... He's drawing two destiny, I believe, if he initiates at the palace site. Yeah, may initiate a battle, and as one battle destiny if alone, or with your other bounty hunter, and Jetacast is the bounty hunter. So yes, he's getting the two destiny there. So, and he's he's fortifying really well. But again, this is Bastion Winkle House. Back-to-back -back world championships. Only three-time winner in Star Wars history. Okay. Oh, and Bastion is now attempting to do a revert, which Ryan allows. I think it looks like, it looked like he activated maybe one too many, but he's able to retrieve from Young Skywalker, which he gets the spiral back. So again, both players have a very small. Lost Pile, or in case of Ryan, no Fort Lost Pile at all. Okay, and here comes Bastion to the ground with Commander Nara, who draws a card off of his own game text. Yeah, he draws one battle destiny if unable to otherwise. Once per turn, if you deployed a Rogue Squadron pilot to the same or related site, you may draw the top card of your reserve deck. Attrition against opponent is plus one here. So he works. He he, he works like Lore Santeca in that you, if you deploy a character to a site, it has to be a Rogue Squadron character. You get to draw a card, and he then drops Owen Baru, 
and Leia Organa. So his drain plus it will be plus one at the Sarlacc pit because Leia's there, and he's able to. Looks like he's trying to spread out a little bit, which is kind of smart. But yeah, we're probably going to see a flip here from Bastion. But the big play of this this turn was Mantil Mantillion Savrip, which you see a lot of in the Diplo deck because you start with three people on the table. Uh, use three forces to play on your side free if 3PO is on table. After losing a battle, character starships and vehicles may be forfeited directly from your hand for their forfeit value to re reduce attrition or battle damage. So instead of losing the characters and stuff that he has on the table, he just has to lose from his hand now. So that's a good way of keeping your one to two little guys on the table for cheap. And now we see him packing up the profanity and And the nice thing is, if he flips this, if he's able to flip this turn, which again, I, I want to say he's going to be able to, but again, don't quote me on that. Um, we'll see him. All of his bat, his total battle destinies will be plus a, at least plus four because of the uh, the seven side of the objective. Okay, so he has Mon Mothma, R2, and 3PO on the Tantive, and everybody else is on the Profundity. So yes, he was he flipped his turn, and now he's on the 7 side, where 7 side is pretty good. While the side is up, your total battle destiny is plus X, where X equals the number of battlegrounds occupied by Rebels of ability less than 4. Once per turn, you may pull an Alderaan or Tatooine Battlegrounds site. And once per turn, if you want a battle, you may retrieve one. So he shuts off. He essentially has shut off Ryan's retrieval from Scum. And now he's able to retrieve for himself. And now we see him spreading out a little bit more. Young Skywalker coming down to the palace site to block that drain. And he now has block the drain over a Tatooine as well. So if a battle does occur, his battle destiny will be plus four. Minus one because of Woof. Okay, and Bastion saving nine. Again he's at he's at twelve cards in hand, so he doesn't have to worry about the the monarch yet. And being that young Skywalker is on the table and at a battleground, Ryan will not be able to retrieve with Erica this turn. So right now Ryan's not doing any damage, where Bastion is doing a possible three this turn. Okay. 
let's see, he uses Lady Proxima. So he gets out Dengar with his Blaster Carbine into his hand. So that's one way of dealing with all these little rebels. Now, the rebels are defense value plus our power and forfeit plus one. But, like I said earlier, if they go to Jabba's Palace site, they're plus two. So, still be able to hit them with Dengar, but still has a nice little... So, and if they hit with Dengar, they'll be forfeit zero. But they still have that nice power as well as their destiny being essentially plus three right now. Definitely don't see Ryan coming down to the Dune Sea, being that he's had the total ability six or more there. So. Let's see what Ryan has in store this turn. Again, I want to thank everybody who's watching tonight. Oh. 10 people in, in watching the game on GIMP, as well as those watching on the stream. Okay, Ryan comes down with P-59 against Leia at the Sarlacc Pit. And Sam Wessel to the Dune Sea. Interesting. So, possibly came down with Zam to the Dune Sea strictly because of Zam's little game text, being that Nara is a leader. If punch leader is just drawn from the same, is just lost from the same side, the opponent loses two force. So, if there is a battle there, okay. So now things are going to be interesting. Ryan deploys lateral damage on the profundity, so now the profundity's power is zero. He's got 19 power up in space, and Bastion's only drawing one destiny. But the destiny is going to be plus four, and then each of his draws are minus one because of Woof, who is right here. Okay, so first we're going to see a battle down on the Dune Sea. Zam's game text says that she's allowed to draw unless otherwise. And he draws a f f Oh, so he plays Cold Feet to cancel the Mantillion Sav Rift. Very nice play. So now Bastion's going to have to lose from the site. Okay, draws a five for Battle Destiny. And Bastion draws. Ooh, a six. So that six is going to be plus four, so that's ten. 
So the nice thing is Zam still has the forfeit to cover. But Bastion is still retrieving one. Oh, okay. So that was smart by Ryan. He lost Maul Sith Infiltrator from his hand before losing Zam to make Bastion lose the two from Zam. Uh, he had three battle damage and 11 to attrition, so he knew that he was going to be losing the Zam, but he wanted to make sure he got in that extra two from Zam's game text before losing her. And he still gets he then gets to take a card from his force ball into hand from her game text as well. Pretty good character. Okay, probably gonna see Bastion or sorry Ryan um, initiate against Leia first, only because if he does against Leia first, then he can go up in space, and it's less that Bastion's adding to his battle destiny. Okay, and get secret plans, anticipating that he's going to lose the battle. Yep. Let's see if he can hit Leia. So I think this is a good turn for Ryan, simply because he got he used Zam to get two extra force in uh, for damage. And he misses. Unfortunately, he misses here because of the tr they're tracking us. So he can't get the extra two from P59 this turn. But he's able to clear at least, well, at least a possibly two characters this turn. It's gonna. Unfortunately, it's right now it's gonna come down to battle destiny. Okay, and Ryan draws another five. Hmm. So, those fives are helping him out this game. Normally, Court has an issue with their Battle Destiny because they play a lot of characters, but now that they're seeing a lot of like the Twilight Advisors, those fives are floating around and they're treating it rather nicely. Okay, so Bastion draws a three, so he becomes a six now. So he still wins the battle by one, so he can retrieve the one. Uh, Again, both both characters are clear. We might actually see three battles, or four battles this turn. I want to say that we might see Ryan battle in space and against Luke. Yeah, if he can get rid of Luke, that's this is really good for him. Okay, there's the hidden weapons that we were figuring around earlier. Let's see if he tracked something to get rid of Luke. Okay, so he draws a 1. So with hidden weapons, 0 and 1, there's no effect. 2 and 3, it's immediately captured. 4 and 5, target is hit. 6 or greater, it's lost. Unfortunately, he draws a 1, so there's no effect. But he's still drawing two Battle Destiny now because of IG-88 and Ability. Okay. So that right there tells me that he was clearly attacking for OA. So he draws the two. And he draws a four. So that should make Luke lost. Immunity, immune to attrition less than six. So, so he has a total of six, and Bastion draws that six, which is now eight. So, Bastion does not win the battle, 
and does not retrieve a force due to the objective. And again, that's smart of Ryan losing the two characters that can be battled against, but keeping the IG-88 there. And there's the last, and there's another battle. And this is right here, the power of court. Just dropping one or two guys against little guys and essentially clearing them out while you're not paying the battle. And now Bastion's Destiny is only plus one, which essentially is going to be, it's going to be even this in this battle. Okay, Bastion placing Walkley out of play so he can get his young Skywalker back into his deck. Draws Boba Fett Bounty Hunter, which is a three. And an Imperial Barrier for a four, so that's seven. Two. Bastion's one. He uses Mon Mothma to take it into hand. So it's total battle destiny is four because Ray and then the plus two. So Ryan's completely immune and now Bastion has 22 battle damage. To so we're going to see, definitely going to see some cards being put into a lost pile for Bastion. Now Bastion's just thinking of which ones he wants to lose. Okay, so he loses Mon Mothma. And still has 16 battle damage. Okay, there goes Ray. There goes General Solo. Yeah, General Solo was the last nine. And he still has Captain Attilies on the profundity. But losing General Solo hurts because now Ryan's going to be able to start retrieving from scum, scum unless he can get back Solo. Still a fairly close game. Ryan's putting a lot of cards on table, so is Bastion, so that's why. I mean, they both have 19 cards left in their life force, and Bastion's technically two cards ahead because of the two cards that he has. Well, the three cards now that he has in his hand, so. But right now, the board state clearly is in. Ryan's favor. Okay, so oh, that's nice. So he deploys redemption. Redemption says Redemption says may add four pilots and four passengers. Permanent pilot ability of provides ability of two when deployed. May deploy a non maintenance cost rubble from your lost pile. Which he then uses to get General Solo. So he deploys redemption, then he uses goes and gets General Solo and Torn Tarn far. Another card that we're not. Your total battle destiny here is plus one, plus two if piloting a transport. Unfortunately, both of these are not transports. Once per turn, if a battle just 
and it may rescue or retrieve from Lost Pile or stack on your virtual set zero evacuation control a, a rebel of a building less than three forfeited from the same location here or this turn and down comes Aaron, General Aaron Kraken I believe that is Candom yeah. Cam, Cam's virtual card sorry I'm not going to butcher his last name Okay, and Bashing goes ahead and throws down Tatooine Celebration. So he's not going to be run away from Tatooine, but he's uh, he's going to try and fortify so that we can retrieve some cards with the Tatooine Celebration. And oof, gold leader and gold one, very nice. I, I he's getting a plus three right now, and to his total, he's got Torn Far, who has another one, so that's plus four. So, but Wolf is still there, so that's minus one, so it's plus three, but he's still only, he would only be drawing one Destiny. And, but, unfortunately, he's got no cards left in his reserve deck, so... And the profundity, I'm s still. Still is power zero. Okay, so he puts the gold leader and gold one. Uh, okay, so he's moving Captain Antilles onto the gold leader. Okay. Get a little. Every little piece of power helps. But again, Ryan's not really doing any control damage this turn, but he is retrieving with Erica. Now the Profunny is kind of just a big sitting duck there. Okay, there's the, the Tantive. So he would get the two Battle Destiny at Chandrilla. And the other nice thing is because he moves the Tantive over, that's another plus one with his objective. So right now he's getting a plus four from his objective in all battles. This is the power of Diplo. Okay, it's going to be Ryan's turn. Let's see what he does. And it looks like both players have about 27, 28 minutes left right now. So, I don't see the clock coming into play just yet. Is able to get his Ephon Mon back, which would have been nice to have at the audience chamber. But Bastion was able to get the gin down before he got Ephon Mon out. Here comes Ryan. 
dropping down a bunch of guys. He's got Pondababa onto Ellis, and then he's got Prince Zizor, or Zizor, who again draws one battle destiny if not able to otherwise. And and total ability is six or more required for opponent to draw a battle destiny here. Unfortunately, Kraken just says opponent may not add destiny draws to a power attrition while well, all your ability here is provided by scouts and or spies as one destiny so it doesn't say draws with one if able to otherwise so i do not believe that he's going to be getting a destiny with kraken here comes cad bane against owen and Baru. so we're going to see some battles this turn And then the big important thing is Bastion will be flipped back if he does not occupy a battleground site and a battleground system. Okay, so he draws a two for Destiny, which will get rid of Kraken. Draws a one for Destiny against Owen and Baru. Oof, that hurts a little bit. So Bastion is going to be able to retrieve here. Okay, but Bastion only draws a two, but it's still plus three. So ten to five, but. Ryan's able to do what he wanted to do, and that is clearing Bastion completely off the ground. Okay, so now Bastion's not getting any additional bonuses to his draw destinies, or his weapon, or his battle destinies, sorry. But he's still not retrieving from Scum because Solo's on the table. And he gets in destiny, destiny to attrition with Ponda Baba. And he draws a three. And a four. So he's got seven battle destinies, so that's 26 power. And we'll wait a few seconds to see what his attrition is. Okay, so he's got a four. So again, Torn Far is there, so it's still a five. So Ryan's gonna have to lose possibly one of his guys there. But he's causing nine to attrition, so I wanna say that's gonna be 
possibly two. Oh, that's right. His attrition is 11 there. Sorry. So, yeah, that's going to be at least two characters there. Okay, there goes the Antilles. Probably going to see Torn Far go away as well. And he's just drawing a few more cards into his hand. So Ryan has a nice, has a very nice board control right now. I mean, granted, all Bastion has to do is drop a character to the Sarlacc Pit or the Moisture Farm to flip back. So it's not out of the woods yet. Oh, interesting. Rogue One. Hmm. Card we haven't seen in Diplo in quite a while. And Commander Luke. Oof. Whereas, okay, so Ryan's able to get the barrier on the Commander Luke. That... I would not have anticipated this, but this is Bastion we're talking about. Okay, he still doesn't flip back only because he has to control a. I wouldn't say it's because he has to control the. Yeah, he has to control the site for him to flip. So he throws down Lando Calrissian Scoundrel too, so he can flip. Hmm. One. <laughs> comes Cassian down to the moisture farm. Oh, and he breaks Jin's cover. Interesting. Okay, so we got a lot of action here. So, Bastion now is flipped. <laughs> Excuse me. So, his, he's getting plus five to his total battle destiny. And he draws a three. So, that becomes now an eight. 
again, sorry, minus, minus because wolf is there, so it's now seven. Oh, and Ryan had no force activated to draw destiny. Oof. But still has to lose two cards to battle damage. So he lose so Ryan loses Balotique and the Space Cruiser. Okay, so he still has Ellis in the Hinthra, and he saw his Guri in the Stinger. And again, Bastion's getting plus... He's getting the plus five to his total battle destiny. So... We won't see again. We won't see a battle against Zizor. We might see one with. Oh, never mind. Sorry, I didn't see that the reserve deck was empty. Okay, so him putting Cassian up to the redemption now says he can cancel one of the destiny draws up in space. Okay, so probably going to see the profanity go to no Hata. So he can't, he can't. Well, he cancels the game tech. So now Ryan can't use now Hata to search during his control phase, and but he can't draw because he's got no destiny left. So. The profanity is still power zero. And just like that, Bastion is kind of, I wouldn't say he flips the, the table as much, but it, it's still a Really close game. But Solo is still on the table, so Ryan can't retrieve. So, we'll see what Ryan's going to do this turn. Well, yeah. Yeah, he can sorry, he can retrieve with Erica, he just can't retrieve with scum. Okay. And both players have nineteen cards left in their life force. Ryan has six cards in hand, Bastion has two. But as of right now, Bastion has is capable of doing damage, whereas Ryan is being stopped by Commander Luke, Jin and the redemption in Gold Leader and Gold One. Sorry, I'm trying not to be up this late. <laughs> So he saves seven cards in his reserve deck. He still hasn't used the job as Haven, so he's pos he could get Space Cruiser back. Okay, that's where. So he's going to use the Jabba's Haven this turn. And he does get the Space Cruiser. <laughs> it's almost like he hurt me.
So again, if you want to see more of this wonderful content that we are providing, uh, click that subscribe button on Twitch. If you want to see more of commentary for these OCS games, uh, more of Chris Goglin's OCS review games, or Jerry and myself's Hollow Theater show, which again will be coming to you live next Wednesday, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern, 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Okay. So he gets another Ephon Mon. So he gets the Ephon Mon that he retrieved back with Lady Proxima. So, and he says that while with Jabba, yeah, while with ja while opponents spy scamblers and thieves may not deploy or move to the same site, when with Jabba in, pa in battle, power plus two, and if forfeited, may satisfy all remaining battle damage and attrition against you. So it's a good way of only losing one character at a site instead of losing. Jabba, Proxima, Erica. So, okay, he comes down with Dengar. Little surprised that he doesn't go against the command of the Rogue One with Commander Luke, but we see Dengar and Boba Fett coming down. But as I was saying, uh, again tonight we had Chris Kelly and Steve Brony on. Uh, we talked Worlds, we talked OCS, we talked state of the game design. So if you want to, see, if there's anything you guys want to see from the show, just let us know. Okay, so still can't retrieve. <laughs> and Bastion says, I really should not have moved to the profundity. Imagine you would have dropped that in the AC. The game would be over now. <laughs> okay, so he's trying to hit Lando, and he succeeds drawing a four. So now Lando is hit and forfeit zero. And he's still drawing three Destiny. So even though Bastion's getting plus four, Ryan's getting plus three, so, got kick. <laughs> yeah, and I, as Ryan, as he points out, he's, he figured on the Hojinx, and he doesn't really, really want to overcommit, so smart on his move. Okay, which he then draws a 14 for battle damage. Actually, here, let me just do this. I'll move myself because they're not over here. So that way you guys can see. Yeah, so he can't play... Hojix because of the battle order and first strike which says during a battle you initiate each time opponent plays an interrupt opponent must use one yeah Ryan didn't look at it so yeah okay so he draws a five which becomes a nine so it's still 16 so that's eight and overflow yeah that's that hurts so oof So 
So the site is cleared, but Bastion's taking nine or eight in overflow. Ouch. Okay, so this is Hera, Bright Hope, Commander Willard, Anakin, Obi Wan with lightsaber, another Lando, Escape Pod, and. Excuse me. And he loses the spiral. So. It's quite possibly we might see another battle from Ryan here. Yep. Yeah, Ryan's sitting pretty good right now. He knows that Bastion can't play the Hojex. And he can just. Get another character off the off the ground. So yeah, Bastion moving the the profundity and not saving any force probably hurt him a little bit. Probably hurt him a lot. Okay, so just four and a five. So that's oof, nine. So twenty-four to six plus. Okay, so he's probably, yeah, he cancels the young Skywalker draw, takes it into hand, which is part of the game text. And he draws a wedge. So that's plus five. Okay, so that's 11. And I want to say Jin is power plus, power and forfeit plus two. So, and then he's also got Insurrection, which has another two, so she's gonna forfeit for a decent amount, but there's still gonna be some overflow. And here we go. So he loses the gin. And he's able to take a look at Ryan's hand. And he's still got four to lose. So he lost Wedge, Young Skywalker, Jin, combined combined fleet action, and it's a hit. With okay, so he loses the Dracanus and Radis. Ashen has five cards left in his life force. I mean, he's, he's going to be able to retrieve one with a Tatooine celebration this turn, but oof, that that hurts.
Okay, so he gets another combine. So he got a combined fleet action to cancel the lat damage. Wonder why he moved IG eighty eight over and with Zizor. The reason I'm saying I'm wondering is because I, I want to say he only gets the one destiny. Okay, okay there goes Ephon Mon and hidden weapons from his hand. And Bastion retrieves Bash or Bastion retrieves Radis. So he's got right now eight card or six cards in life force, two cards in hand. So he's got eight cards essentially to play with. While as Ryan has eighteen in life force and four cards in hand, so that's twenty-two. Okay, here comes Dash in row 10. Or, sorry, row 12. But it looks like that's all he's going to do this turn. Interesting. So he moves the profanity to Chandrilla. Interesting. Possibly to make it so that Ryan doesn't throw down the space cruiser there so he can drain it for two. I'm not sure of this this that move myself, but I'm not gonna question Bastion at this point. Okay, so to clear, so if Ryan is thinking about trying to clear Bastion from the Dune Sea, he's going to have to ma make him get, he's going to have to make, he's going to have to draw at least six. And again, because of the Dune Sea, I do not believe he gets the two destiny because of the way it works. Zizor is able to draw because of his game text saying that he draws from otherwise. IG88 says he adds one if with a battle hunter or alone. So yeah, he's only getting the one destiny because he doesn't have a bounty hunter there. But even if he does throw a bounty hunter there, he has to have the ability greater than greater than six or greater but he uses Erica to retrieve one because Luke is not present he's in the vehicle okay boss can hounds to something and Dosh pure so if he would have put Dosh pure down to the dune seed that would have worked. He he would have gotten the two destiny, but he decided to put him down to the Jabba's Palace site. Okay. 
but here comes Ray Reese, who is ability 3. So he has now ability 6 there. So he decides to start up in space. And he has to pay to draw Destiny because a gold leader still. Draws a two. So, and a five. So, I want to say it's four. Solo's an eight, but Cassian. Oh, yes. So he uses, Bastion uses Cassian to cancel the five. Sorry, I thought Torn Farm was there still, but you know, it's Cassian, so. And that's Destiny of One. Okay, so Cassian did his job, and Bastion just, but that was the end. The, yeah, that was the only character or ship lost from the battle for both sides. So. Question is, is, does Ryan know what he's drawing for Destiny? Because he wants to take Bastion off the ground completely. And to do that, he just tries to draw higher than a higher than the forfeit of Dash in row 12, which is five. So there's the two, there's a two. Or row 12, sorry. And three, so unfortunately, actually, Ray Reese, Ray Reese, who says, whenever you draw a Destiny of Three, you may choose one, activate one force, draw the bottom card, or place a card from hand on top of your used. So he decides to draw a card from the bottom of the used pile. And Bastion draws a five. And the two, so that's seven, eight, nine, I believe. So, yeah. So, oof. Bastion gets to retrieve one. And I want to say Zysor is going to be the one left for Ryan. Because we know that Bastion's not going to lose Dash. Or, he's not going to lose Luke. Yep. So, Bastion's going to drain for two this turn. 
because bail is on table. <clears throat> So, looks like Bastion saved enough to retrieve using Tatooine Celebration, so he's retrieved the one, and then he's got two force saved in his reserve deck, possibly to battle with Luke on the ground. So, as long as Ryan does not draw higher than a four, Luke should be fine. Okay, there's a two. And a five, so it's nine. So up to 15. And Ryan draws a two. So there goes Zizor, and that's it. Well, actually, no, that's Zizor and two other cards. Okay, so. Checking on update, Ryan currently has not about 9 minutes left on his timer, Bastion has about 14, I'm not 100% I'm not sure on the rules of the OCS, if there are extensions or not, but that's something I doubt that this game is going to go that far, so Ryan just uses his Gick to negate the 2 damage. Because he assumed that Bastion doesn't really have much left in the way of he was only showing Hojix. Oh, thank you. Brings over the profundity, which adds some power, but it also brings over R2 and 3PO, who forfeit for seven now. I mean, they already delivered the plants, so their job is done. Okay, and Bastion throws the Hojix away. And retrieves one with Erica. Interesting, seeing that the Java Space Cruiser come down by itself. Okay, so see a battle up in space. Okay, so four. Eight for Battle Destiny. And 
bastions are still plus one, essentially. It's at seven. And he draws the two for attrition. So Ryan's got ten or twelve into attrition. Sorry. I want to say Ryan is digging for the his second gick. I do believe he is playing two. Uh, I remember he he did have one in his deck earlier, so I, I'm I'm assuming essentially that he does have the second gick and he was trying to dig for it because I'm figuring that Bastion is going to be. Te or battling with the Luke on the ground against the, the lone Dosh Pure. Okay, so there goes Sun's Down combo. Okay, and Bastion gets the profanity back. So yeah, I think what we're going to do is just see Bastion uh, battle with the Rogue One and then He's almost certainly going to move the Tantive over in front of the Java Space Cruiser. Okay, he draws a four. And a six. Oof, that's six. Bastion is getting the sixes tonight. And he draws a four for Battle Destiny. Oof. I do believe that. Yep, that gets rid of Luke. So that's the big thing right here is Ryan is able to get rid of Luke. So that one flips Bastion back. And two, now Ryan can start retrieving from Erica again. And there's his second gick. Okay, so it's, that was a good turn for Ryan. Unfortunately, that was a pretty, pretty bad sequence of events there for Bastion. Bastion was holding on to the hope that he was going to be able to keep Luke on the ground. see what Bastion does. I mean, he could still shuttle Solo down or yep, there. Yeah, he could, like I said, he could shuttle Solo down, so now he's flipped back. But that, that was not a good sequence of events. So, I mean, this turn we're going to see Ryan drain for two. Most likely we're going to see him battle at least up in space just because, I mean, Bastion is drawing Destiny and it is plus two, but Ryan has the possibility of knocking out both of those ships. Because I do, I want to say that the Gold Leader is only forfeit four, and I believe the Redemption's also forfeit four, or no, forfeit six, sorry. Uh, I want to say that the non V is forfeit four. Oh. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, just over mid time, midnight over here on the the West Coast. Again, we're watching Bash and Winkle House, our number two C going to get up against Ryan Searson. And the first game of the round of 16 with the OCS Championship. And so. Oof. That's pretty good. Ryan has the no escape, so I can get the Dos Puras back. Oof. Add insult to injury. Boba Fett. Yeah, this this game this game is over done. Yeah, because we're gonna see Ryan drawing three destiny. Bastion's not getting any. He's gonna lose solo. So we're gonna see some not I don't think we're gonna see a lot of overflow just because the forfeit they both have nice forfeit. But, yeah, I, I agree. Ryan does need to play faster. He does only have seven minutes left. Okay, so he draws a, he draws a Gick. Five, so it's seven. Eleven. So... That I mean that will clear. But and I think they forfeit for twelve. But okay, that was enough to to cover. So Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm yeah, Ryan Ryan just needs to play fast. That's the only way he's going to lose this game. Bastion's not retrieving any at this point. He's going to be paying to drain. So. And he can't flip back if he throws a card down against Jasper or Pure or against the, at the, at the AC. So. I don't know. I mean, if you're Bastion, you got to think about what to do. I mean, he's going to be playing Dark Side next round, like at the next game. So we'll see what he does. But right now, it's looking like full win for Ryan plus thirteen or plus twelve. Okay, so he drains up in space at Chandrilla for two. And what else? It's okay, so there's Radis, so he can flip back. I mean, he could. If he can live this pet next turn, he'll retrieve one from Celebration, but. Depending on. Yeah, Ryan has no cards in hand, no way of getting really any characters or anything to his hand, but he's going to be draining for three, and when Bastion only has six left, so. But Solo is in the Lost Pile, so we might see possibly a battle up in space at Tatooine. Okay, Drain of Two. Okay, so... Bastion has no cards left at hand. Ryan's just retrieving. 
with Erica. And again, we're probably going to see a battle up in space. So we can retrieve two more. So I'm going to probably going to see a full win for Ryan. Uh, I mean, Bastion could still do, if Bastion survives this turn completely, he's going to do one damage on the ground at least. So probably going to see a full win for Ryan plus 12. Or sorry, plus 13. So I think if anybody can come back from that, it would be Bastion. Okay, there's a four. And a five. Okay, so that's seven, eight, nine. Oof. Bastions two, three, sorry. Sebastian cannot force drain. Actually, no, I'm sorry. He he can force drain. Um, it's late. Uh, he can force drain because he satisfies bad order. <laughs> uh, it's late. Probably see him drain and then scoop up. Okay, so Ryan is victorious in game one. Uh, Ryan has won by 13 with 22 cards in his loss pile. Uh, Bastion has 41. So once we hear from the two players about when they will be doing their second game, we'll let everybody know. Obviously, they'll be posting on the forums. Uh, I know that there is another game. Uh, actually, I'll bring up the forums. We have another game scheduled as of right now. First game, that game being the uh, Silver Glen versus Adam Trunzo. It's going to be on October 11th. Uh, that's going to be at 8 p.m., 4.30 Eastern Standard Time. So we'll see what's going to happen with that one. Uh, we'll see who's going to do the streams or do the commentary. As soon as we get some more information, we'll let everybody know. Uh, again, uh, thanks everybody for who, for turning tuning in tonight. Uh, good job, both players. So we'll, again, we'll let everybody know once we hear from the two guys when they want to play next. Uh, this is going to be me sending off. Again, click the subscribe button for more great content from Star Wars, and we'll catch everybody next time.